You know who they are, but you don't know why they're here. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 608 pounds, Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, the NWO. Flip this industry on its head. When they invaded WCW. Well, they went looking to conquer new ground, and boy, did they succeed. Two men who are championship material no matter where they are. Legitimate threats to anyone in singles or tag action. This man is the powerhouse of the Hart family. And their opponents, first representing the Hart Foundation from Reno, Nevada, weighing in at 281 pounds, Jim the Anvil Neidhart. A founding member of the Hart Foundation, multiple time tag team champion, Hall of Famer, and father of Natalia. Few hit harder than the anvil. One of the toughest men to ever grace the squared circle. They call him anvil for a reason. A true powerhouse of the game. Oh yeah, I am pumped for this guy. From Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 220 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Intercontinental Champion, the Witch Blade J. White. We're looking at some of the most intense competitors in all of WWE, about to take part in one of the most anticipated matches ever. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. The New World Order might just be one of the most dominant factions this industry has ever seen. For a time, they had total control over all of WCW. The NWO still tries to rule with an iron fist to this day. They know they have power and talent, so they think they should be calling the shots no matter where they are. Stand between the NWO and their plans, and you're in for one heck of a bad time. Not only will they beat you, but they'll make a fool of you, too. They are a well-oiled machine that can run a seminar in tag team wrestling. They certainly pose a real threat to their competition who might have a difficult time matching their chemistry. Hall saw it coming. Into the corner. This can't be good. Sliding German. He's got him scouted. Two-handed choke slam. I able to counter. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. 
embarrassing stretch. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double big back body drop. He's absorbed some damage already. And he has an answer for Neidhart. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Cloverleaf applied into a backbreaker. Fantastic. Hip toss. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Dragon suplex. Talk about a bad landing. Ooh, dropped right on their face. Just stretching out the arm. You have to protect your shoulders from hits like that. You don't want to compromise your ability to throw a punch or lock in a hole. Oh, right, right. He must have had that scouted. Inverted vertical suplex. He's looking a little weary now. This is when you have to take advantage of tag team rules and get yourself some breathing room. No good reason to stay in this right now. Waist lock applied, but able to block into an arm drag. Ooh, what a slap! Oh, 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 here we go. It seems like that slap might have had a little extra hostility behind it. Lariat! Good lord, that was nasty. Cranking the head. Oh my goodness, dribbling the... He can do it here. Shoulder up before two. Still in it. Rolling outside, and he's looking like he wants nothing to do with him. By the throat into the top rope. Oof. Bending the rules, and I'm not going to be the one to stop him. Just brutality. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a free fall.
Draped across the top rope. Here he goes for the win. Pin stopped by rope break. Oh, close line. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Butterfly backbreaker. Placed in the corner. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping. Sister Abigail. All oh, felt the full force of that one. Headed to the top now. From the top. Oh, oh it's a piercing elbow. Paul running into big trouble now. Paul's just trying to weather the storm. How in the world did he kick out? Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning your Anagi. A swing out. Neck breaker. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Got the tag. Got the tag. Counters that. Sister Abigail. Nash is in crisis mode. Two hangs on by a thread. Nash has tapped deep into his reserve to kick out of that one. Big sexy still in this. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. No quarter being given by either competitor. You have to believe this one's going to be decided by the smallest of margins. T.O. plants him. Nicely done. What are they doing here? And what a maneuver we just saw there. And Nash looks worse for wear after that offense. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Inflicted. And here's the tag. Scott Hall into the ring. Ah, oh, gets cracked into the cover. Oh. Fights the shoulder up at one. These one counts are going to get harder and harder to kick out of. Well-placed elbow to break up the maneuver. Boom! Running STO plants him. Nicely done. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh my goodness! Dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Saw that coming. Getting him into the corner. Oh, man. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Locked face first. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. Knees up, saw it coming, and was laying in wait. He saw that one coming. Solid contact from Kevin Nash. This match's brutality starting to show on him. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Tag is made, and he's coming in hot. Close line. 
Lining it up. Oh, smashing the jaw. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Scott Hall, right where he wants it, because we're about to see the down. One more for the bad guy. Makes the cover. Hall put a stamp on this one. Carefully placed, stomped to the arm. Position for both superstars. Oh gosh. Oh my goodness! The pace of this match being set by Hall. Hall cannot be stopped right now. Draped across the top rope. Clubbing four. Big four. Outrageous power by the anvil. Running power slam. Big sexy couldn't avoid the big. Outrageous power by the anvil. Running power slam. No doubt the anvil ended this. He's going for it all. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. DDT! You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position from the top. Down. down. And they just got back in. Wrapping the arm over that top rope, punishing their opponent. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Dander. Going for a clutch. I have no idea. Oh, I thought they had one. But he makes the save. It doesn't get any closer than that without the bell ringing. Just completely lost his wind. This is getting hard to watch, guys. We might need to stop this one. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning your anagi. The volume in this building has increased exponentially. The fans are willing these competitors to push forward. Win or lose, these superstars are going to be held in high esteem after this one. Boom! Come on! No one likes a count out. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 back no. suplex. A back suplex right out of the apron. Ooh. Oh, my lord. Ooh. Take it out of the apron. And Hall asking, who wants a piece of the bad guy? Went into the corner now. And the squared circle has been transformed into a ballroom of sorts for Sister Abigail. Good night. That might have put the exclamation point on this one. Looking for the victory. Two. Grueling matchup. And look who's here. Ah, oh, some taunting going on. Future matchup, perhaps? I'd say that's a highly likely possibility.
Now the matchup underway. Oh, and the referee, the official's down. And these two don't care at all. What, what about the official? Someone check on him, please. And can the match continue? The ref took a nasty fall. Can, can someone please check on the official? Is that an official start? The referee was able to start the match, so we are proceeding with this match. We all know just how much a calculated attack like that could affect the course of this match. Getting a leg up on the competition is the name of the game, Saxton. Work smarter, not harder. Oh, look at this. Corey, what should be the strategy for the Hall of Famer Yokozuna here tonight? He needs to know his strengths and weaknesses. Yoko ain't going to be running marathons, but he's very quick and very strong. He needs to weather the storm, get his opponent where he wants him, and then, to put it lightly, squash him like a bump. Backdrop suplex. Compromised position here. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh, what a drop kick. On the mark. Six gets reversed. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Six with a reversal. Four to the kidneys. Oh. For how much longer? What are they doing here? Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. He's returning fire. Telegraph, but can it be capitalized? You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. Twists the arm and a... Uh, working on the arm. Arm ringer. Oh, and a kick. That was nasty. Stop in the leg. He's lost some of his win now. Six came in looking for a fight and he's delivering one now. Yokozuna getting worked on right now. Yeah, now Yokozuna's got to turn the momentum around. He went right into that turnbuckle. Six gets reversed. Yokozuna able to stop the blitz that was coming his way. It's time for Yokozuna to take advantage of the misstep and take command. Is it enough? Two, and he powers out. Close call, that was almost lights out. Sure, what they're thinking. Ooh, pinpoint. Can he do it here? And it picks up a monumental victory. Here is your winner, Yoko Zuna. They might not be in the best shape right now, but they have to be feeling good after that win. I'll give them one thing they definitely know how to take a beating. I wouldn't exactly call the cheap shot they took a beating, but I'll agree that their resilience paid off here.
Oh, yeah! The Hall of Famer is in the house! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sarasota, Florida, weighing in at 239 pounds, Macho Man Randy Savage. If you want a blueprint for how to be one of the top superstars in all of sports entertainment, look no further than the Macho Man. Not even that, Byron, but consider the amount of influence that Randy Savage has had on the entire sports entertainment industry throughout the years. A real trailblazer, the Macho Man. The madness, as always, in peak physical condition tonight. Uh, it must be the meat snacks he eats. The age of Alexander continues. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. A man with C4 in his hands, rocket launchers in his legs, a truly dynamic competitor. He first turned heads as a cruiserweight, hit another gear in the Hurt Business, and now he's on the rise. Yeah, Cedric Alexander is a very accomplished competitor and won't hesitate to go after anyone. I certainly hope this superstar is prepared to step to the Macho Man's challenge because you cannot show fear against Randy Savage. Randy Savage here, and that means this is almost guaranteed to be a match of the night. It's hard to think of a superstar who possesses the complete package more than the Macho Man. Often imitated, but never replicated. No one can hold a candle to what Savage is. Sleeper holds. And the rope saves him there. But will he be able to last much longer? Powerless position to be in right now. Right across the larynx. Really just laying it in. He reverses it. A step ahead of Savage. One of the most revered superstars in the history of WWE. It's got to be hard to match the energy that Macho Man, Randy Savage, brings to the ring. Well, trying to match that energy is a fool's errand, Cole, but forcing Macho Man to match your pace might be the key to victory. Grounding Savage with attacks would be a good place to start. Well, Trapped over the top rope. Dominating shoulder tackle. And Alexander did not see that coming. Yeah, Savage there took it to another level. I think we know what's coming next. Up high. Whoa, cross body. Into the pin attempt. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. He clearly has no intention of staying down. Setting up for something here. Straight impact on the throat. He eludes the contact. The springboard attack fails to land. Toss down. It couldn't have felt good being shoved around like that. Oh, what a right hook. What a shot. The macho man is going berserk. And the madness cannot be stopped. Look out. Oh, just completely off target there. Really thought that was going to work, but now we got a human being we have to scrape off the floor. Wow, what an arm drag. Using the rope to their advantage. Attacking the arm. Having a weakened arm can limit you in so many ways. They get harder to execute on even simple attacks. Knife edge chop. Oh, what are they going to do here? Set up in position. Split leg moonsault. Picture perfect drop kick. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Uh, 
There he goes, right into the corner. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Macho Man able to come back. Oh, he retaliates. The jumping complete shot. Face first. Cedric looking to end this. Picked up and driven down. Into he could pin his opponent right here. It's still hanging on. Just barely, but it counts. The madness may be on empty. Savage could be done. That holds back Cedric's attack. Using the elbow to escape the attack. Placing them into the corner. Stop Cole with the boot. Held in a perilous position. Power bomb! Into the outside! Looks like they do not want them inside the ring anymore. Time to venture out. Take off! Dodges the attack just a smidge quicker. Look at this. Snap oh, suplex. Oh, look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. An arm breaker. He's struggling a bit here. Cedric Alexander always competes at such a high effort level throughout the match. Oh, what a kick. Looking to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. Oh. And he slides him back to the mat. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Oh, hoping to end it here. Fights out at two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Ah, look at this. Just breaking down the opponent. Savage is running to trouble. And a grounded Savage cannot control the pace as we're seeing here. Oh, God. Macho Man dodges. Larian. Elbow drop. Piercing. Macho Man getting sad. Perched on the top rope. Winning for Savage before. That was a massive victory for this young man. It was certainly a treat for all of us to watch here tonight. This superstar can now enjoy his victory. Oh, what the hell is he doing? Oh, no, not the steel chair. Come on. Oh, oh my God. Him. This is absolutely heinous. Totally uncalled for. He's out of control.
Goosebumps spreading through the WWE Universe as the sinister and menacing presence of Karrion Cross fills the air. Incredible strength, expert submissions, and devastating strikes. There is no safety when you're in the ring with Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross has been looking to reach that next level in WWE. Tonight might be the moment of truth. snakes in the hall of fame cole i'm looking at the toughest sob in wwe history and his opponent from victoria texas weighing in at 252 pounds stone cold steve austin a true brawler in every sense of the word that's what he comes out here to do no stop in austin when he's looking for a fight The mind games of Karrion Cross should be on full display in this one. Yeah, it's seemingly never enough for Cross to just tear his opponents apart with his physicality. He's always compelled to systematically tear them apart mentally as well, win or lose. Very true. Cross is often even more dangerous after he loses, but I imagine he's coming to this one determined to win it all. But then we have the man they call the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. As deadly as they come, he can lay just about any man out with one good hit. Mess with Austin if you dare, because he won't mess around when it comes to stomping you down in the ring. Well put, Corey. Austin is the last guy you want to take lightly, and you definitely don't want to find out firsthand just how devastating a stunner can be. Austin loves to bring the fight to his opponents, loves to raise hell. Yeah, and he loves to have a Stone Cold style match, non-stop brawling. But if you want to succeed against him, you can't let him have control of the match like that. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. Oh, look at this. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. Oh, wow. Now that's what you call impact. Stomping down. Now it's Austin getting strike down without any warning. Yeah, Karrion reminding his opponent that he's not someone to take lightly. Stop after stop after stop. You want to control the tempo. You want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Relentlessly stomping away at his opponent. The stomp in every single part of his body. Holy meet the barricade. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. Oh. 
Uh, in the corner. Dragon screw. Right into the leg lock. Clearly had a strip. Here's the cover. Now Austin's still alive. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Again, again. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Headlock applied and a nice short jab to the bridge of the nose. A back suplex. Here he goes for the win. What? Oh, he kicked out. He thought he had it. Carefully plays stomp to the arm. He's absorbing some tough hits now. That's the roughneck approach we've come to expect from the rattlesnake. Down to Odin, and a double axe handle smash. Off the turnbuckles. What's he get from the top? Through the air, and connects. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. A oh, running knee lift. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. <laughs> Drops the hammer right on the lower back. The end may be in sight for his opponent here. And he has just taken Austin. Austin. Cross is in serious danger. Oh. Hey, no way, no way. Cross is not so easily dispatched. He wants more. He demands it. Austin has put away so many opponents like this before, but tonight is going to be a tougher battle for the Rattlesnake. Austin building up speed. To the heart. Badass offense from the one and only Stone Cold. Attacks like that are how you get what you want in the ring. Such punishment being dealt by Austin. I assure you, Karrion Cross was not expecting to be in this position. Oh, man. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. And Austin gets stopped in his tracks. Wait for it. Boom! Alabama slam. Austin looks to be feeling the strain of that last assault. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Dropped him with a big shoulder tackle. Austin just looking to humiliate his opponent. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Being carried around with ease. Oh, ran face first. And there's the cover. Hey, guys. Do you think they suffered an injury to the midsection, maybe the back? It's entirely possible. It certainly seems to be the case. Oh, look, look at this superstar. You can see how they're just wincing in pain. There's a struggle to, to exit the ring. It was an absolutely brutal contest for both of these athletes. Just have to keep your fingers crossed that this is just typical in-ring damage and not something more severe.
Here comes Hall of Fame royalty. It is good to be king. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 235 pounds, Jerry the King Lawler. Love him or hate him, you can't deny his contributions to this industry spanning decades. Yeah, whether inside the ring, at the announcer's table, the King has paved his own very brash path in WWE. Yeah, Byron, but he has the toughness to back up everything he has to say, both in and out of the ring. The King ready to grace the WWE Universe with his royal presence once again. Well, hopefully they appreciate a legend like him for all he's brought to this business. Gentlemen, you are dealing with a true X Factor. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X Pac. The workhorse of the NWO and Degeneration X, X Pac is continually fueled by defiance. And he's here to kick tradition in the. Well, you know where. No, I don't, Byron. Why don't you tell me? Uh, 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 someone cut my mic. Say it, Byron. X-Pac remembers what it was like as the perennial underdog, and you could say his current attitude is a reaction to that time in his career. Yeah, he walks around with a permanent chip on his shoulder. His brashness does get him into trouble, but it's also propelled him to success. That same brashness could be the key for him here in this one. And standing across the ring is a bona fide legend out of Memphis, Tennessee, Jerry the King Lawler, one of the craftiest veterans this business has ever produced. Yeah, don't let the commentary career fool you. Lawler ruled the territories back in the day. He knows how to mix it up, knows how to play dirty, and doesn't have a problem doing it. Oh, what a kick! He finds a counter for X-Pac. Down he goes. Well scattered reversal there. Ooh, what a damaging blow. Close lock. And he goes for the pin. Strong kick out there. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. Oh, by a forearm smash. And Corey, what's the best strategy to use against the veteran Lawler here tonight? Well, I should be asking you, Cole. You beat him, though, in lieu of hoping for it. Oh, he's been late for the whole time. And he breaks the count quickly. Not time to expect victory yet. <laughs> and an inverted atomic drop. Into the corner now. Right in the chest, what a drop kick. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Such physicality from X-Pac. And he's able to reverse. Reversal on top of reversal. Oh, sit out slam. Oh.
Looks like Lawler's gonna need a medic soon. Lawler able to counter. Reigns down an elbow retaliation. Oh, kick finds it. Muscled out all the way to the outside. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Awesome. Crank in the head. What punishment being dealt out by X-Pac. He's keeping a distance from Lawler, not allowing the King to turn this into a brawl. X-Pac is fired up and ready to go. Wards off that offense from Lawler. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. And look at this now, yes, applying the submission hold. The cross-face chicken wing. An extreme... Look at breaking the legs and now breaking the arms. Strong punch to the midsection. He's taken, and yet he's still in this match. And this one might be headed ringside. Caught with a lariat. A oh, foot just stomping down. Boom, what a punch. X Pac looks powerless to every attack. Absolutely. King is tearing his opponent down. The King showing what makes him timeless. Lately, things have been a tad heated between these competitors. Yeah, this could develop into a pretty serious rivalry if it keeps escalating. Maybe they'll squash the beef here and now, and that'll be the end of it. Looks like King is loading up. Shifts it back onto him. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Back suplex. Very nice. This could do it. The superstar enjoying his victory. And the loser of this match offering a handshake. How about that? The winner oh. has uh, no interest. I beat oh. you. Get out of my ring. How okay, about that? how hard would it have been just to shake the man's hand? Because it's not about feeling, Saxon. It's about victory. It's about winning and staying on top at all costs.
WWE Universe just exploded. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Washington, weighing in at 202 pounds, one half of the International Wrestling Grand Prix Junior Heavyweights Tag Team Champions. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down. It's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are. All right, I love this guy. And his opponent from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 242 pounds, one half of the National Wrestling Alliance Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, the Ace. Hey, where's the horse? What are you talking about? Yeah, what horse? The high horse this superstar always seems to be on. Did Jerry Lawler write that line for you? Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. This match about to get started with a superstar trying to prove they have what it takes against the champ. This is going to be quite an uphill battle, but proving yourself against the champ can get you noticed. While this isn't a title match, you know there's still a lot on the line for this superstar. Well, the challenger might have the champion walking into a trap match of sorts. When you're right, you're right. A lot of times, a champion won't take a match seriously if the title isn't on the line. That could open him up to a loss he does not want to take. Oh, nasty flipping senton. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. What a forearm. <laughs> Fought off with an elbow. He got whipped into that corner. Look at this, going counter for counter. Taking it outside the ring now. in the leg. Taken down with a body slam. Oh, look at this. Just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. Frustration starting to build. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Ooh. Oh, point of the elbow finds the mark. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Turned inside out by the German. He's taking some good hits. Textbook side headlock takeover. Tremendous pressure on the head and neck. Great counter!
got past what was an incredibly difficult opponent. But there is no time to rest. Oh, this, this is a match I want to see. Here comes the excellence of execution. Gentlemen, the pink and black attack is here. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Weighing in at 235 pounds, Brett the Hit. This is a man who's fought and crawled his way to the top. Bret Hart has proven he can put anyone in their place, and he has no problem doing it. Make no illusions about it. Bret is the hitman for a reason. Cold, methodical, precise, as tactical and technical as they come. This is the man who has really brought pride and prestige to the Intercontinental Championship, but he's not content with that being his ceiling. The sky really is the limit for the Hitman, and the WWE Universe knows that. And his opponents, first from Aberdeen, Washington, weighing in at 210 pounds, Brian Danielson! The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. A man who always gets a strong reaction from the WWE Universe, and it will only intensify once the bell rings. The Hall of Famer, Kurt Angle. Weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle! A wrestling machine. One of the all-time greats, Kurt Angle. <laughs> A man who brings unmatched intensity, unparalleled in-ring skills, and an unprecedented competitive streak to WWE.
We've got triple threat action here tonight. No disqualifications, no countouts. This is a match that favors the opportunists. There can only be one winner, and the one who strikes at the right moment will score that impressive victory here. Another German suplex! Unreal! Such precision, velocity, and force with each one of those suplexes. On a flying form smash! Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Belly to belly suplex. Broken up. And the match continues. Getting set up for something in the corner. One response after another. Back and forth we go. Oh, one step ahead of Angle. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no-disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. And he's pulled the ring apron up, looking under there for something. Tosses him back in now. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Slam! What impact. This match grinded him down a little. Talk about execution. Brett is certainly showing us how it's done right now. Creating sequences his opponents simply have no answer for. Perhaps looking for some kind of equalizer here. He has a kendo stick in hand, and this place just turned into South Swanson Street. Oh, look at this. Headbutt! Back out, bro. Did you see that? Oh, and then the chest as well. Measured stomp right to the gut. Oh, stomping away. All the way over. Belly to belly suplex. Bam! Down he goes. Snap power slam. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. Oh my, how in the world did he kick out of that? He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Angle gets the better there. Kurt setting it up. Angle slam. Is it enough? The cover to count. And he fights it off. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Is he going to do the big time damage to the arm? Looking for a scoop slam, but from behind, inverted DDT connects. Play and possum, shoulders down. And he stops the count. Lucky him. Oh, swinging neck breaker. Picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. And act, he gets there. A few seconds longer in this match would have been over. Put it in a position now. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. If you're going to grab a kendo stick, you better be prepared to use it. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Boom! He's one step ahead there. Into an overhead suplex. He thinks he has it. And a strong kick out in one. Surprised to not even get a two count at this. Kohina clutch. Kohina clutch. Kohina. And he breaks the submission. Kuzuko knee. Hurts in serious danger. Cover. And there's the breakup. 
just in the nick of time. Strength being shown here. Ooh, nasty shot to the throat. Ooh, that hurt. Turned that one around. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. The end is loose. Ankle lock applied. Stop in the lead. Berenga picks the lead. Looking to end this here. This does not look good. Angle may have it. Got it. Seize the opportunity in this triple threat match. Here is your winner. the impressive victory coming out on top against two very capable, very prepared competitors. We knew these three would put on a show, but I do not think anyone predicted just how intense this match would be. I think one man did, and it's the one currently celebrating his win. Here comes the bad guy. Oozing machismo and wearing more gold than Fort Knox. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 287 pounds. The bad guy, Razor Ramon. We are about to witness the unbelievable power from the bad guy. And an intimidation factor that is off the charts. As tough as they come, Razor never backs down from a fight. It is time to get a dream, hold on to it, and shoot for the sky. Dusty Rhodes is here. And his opponent from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. There is only one American Dream.
And we say hello to the bad guy. As Razor Ramon starts things off, never one to respect the rules, that's Razor's M.O. You say that like it's a bad thing, Cole. If there's one thing Razor taught me, it's that being a bad guy is in the eye of the beholder. And to quote the man himself, hard times don't last, but bad guys do. So who are we to judge? Couldn't argue with that if I tried, Corey. Razor Ramon has proven himself in the ring time and time again. And on the flip side is Dusty Rhodes. Whether he's in the ring or holding a microphone, Dusty is truly captivating. He has a special gift for connecting with the WWE Universe. And that connection gives Dusty a whole lot of motivation and power inside the ring. Rhodes does it all for the love of the fans. They're the reason he became such a big star. Oh, no! Straight oh, oh. across the top rope. Oh, and a stomp. He could do it here. Shoulders up. At this point of the match, I'm not surprised. Playing possum. Shoulders down. An easy kick out there. Easy kick out there, but they'll get him. Oh, my! And he saw that coming from Ramon. Uses the edge of the knee. They've got their opponent on his hand. This maniac out of control. Never forget, the goal is to win by any means necessary. Oof, that can knock you out. Good timing with that reversal. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Connecting with a sharp elbow. And now Rhodes experiencing what it's like to get cut down. Ooh. Stiff shot to the abdomen. My God, enough! Razor way up high. Perched up top. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm. Has the arm trapped. Delivering nasty stomps. No respect being shown whatsoever with those stomps. Shoulder tackle. And Rhodes is being taken apart now. He's blocked out Dusty's words thus far. Let's see if he can keep this match from turning into a brawl. Elbow on the spot. Opportunity now for Dusty to capture some momentum. Prime opportunity now for Dusty to get some separation and gather himself. Oh, they're not, they're not gonna bite the hand. Oh, oh my god, they are! Oh. oh my gosh, that's gross. I mean, come on. Who bites someone? You gotta do whatever it takes, Saxton. Ow! Foot meet back. He manages to escape it. And that was an effective attack, guys. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Up high! You gotta be kidding me! No matter who you are, when you crashed on the floor, a searing pain races through your body. And Dusty is taking command of this one. Ramon has to pull a trick from his sleeve. Oh, headbutt! A show of confidence from Dusty. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. The American Dream teeing off with a series of bionic elbows. Razor looks knocked out. He's got the answer for that one. Razor Ramon just goading his opponent. Rocked by a jab from the Dream. Oh, the bionic elbow from the American Dream. That's what it was before. He kicks out somehow. Had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much 
matches left after that. I thought it was over. The WWE Universe thought it was over. But you gotta do a little more to finally finish this. Up high! suffered an injury to the midsection, maybe the back. It's entirely possible. It certainly seems to be the case. Oh, look, look at this superstar. You can see how they're just wincing in pain as they struggle to, to exit the ring. It was an absolutely brutal contest for both of these athletes. You just have to keep your fingers crossed that this is just typical in-ring damage and not something more severe. Oh, uh, looking to maybe shake hands to start this match. Good sportsmanship here. Yeah, I like to see this. Or, uh, oh, no. I don't like oh, seeing that. Sportsmanship. This is what I like to see. Let them fight. Well, that's going to fire them up for sure. Hey, maybe they shouldn't have taken the bait, right? I agree with you, Cole. These two can't stand one another. I don't know why anyone thought we'd see otherwise. The tensions between these competitors almost completely disrupted this match. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. There is no reason to go through with this match after that brawl before the bell. Oh, I can think of one very good reason. It's called pride. If you had any yourself, you might understand. Oh, an elbow drop, and then look at the knee strikes. Hammer it away. That was a vicious display. You can almost see the disdain in their eyes. Stretching and tearing at all the ligaments in the leg. A quick cover. And an easy kick out. It's going to take more than that. Ah, oh, look at this. Just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Jarring impact. He heads outside, count outs legal in this match. Able to get out of the way. That takes them down. Oh. Vicious right forearm. Forearm right across the back of the neck. A non-stop assault from the Dragon. Gonna be hard to stop Steamboat here. And gets tossed back into the mat. Dragon screw takedown, not finished yet. Right into a leg lock. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility. It can drastically limit you inside the ring. And Steamboat steers clear there. And that definitely made solid impact. Oh. 
chop. Swinging neck breaker. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Look at this, just punishing the knee. Shot after shot after shot. Hammer it away. Steamboat just can't find an answer for these attacks. Steamboat needs to find an opening fast. Oh, a neck breaker. You can feel the tables beginning to turn. A series of clotheslines and their opponent is rocked. That's one of my all-time favorites. Showing off their submission skills with an octopus stretch. Oh, what a reversal and counter by him. There's the hard hooks both off. A uh, double chicken wing submission. Give up now. Slow. Body breaks free, but will the damage prove to be irreparable? Pressure must be kept on. Shoulders down. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat wins. Here is your winner. Prove the doubters wrong. It was definitely a hard fought victory as they had something to prove going into this. You have to consider this win a point made. This is a demand for respect.